Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This is Veteran 0121. And we gotta catch some fish here to try and save Sid. And basically how this works is um you wanna try and catch the fish that swim faster. Um I don't know, cause they're better for him, I guess. But um honestly though, with this guy. Yeah, there's a fish, eat up, ooh yeah. And he'll have like different dialogue depending on how well he's getting or how sticky he still is or how close he is to death. But actually, I'm going to be killing him off because I like the, uh, the sequence better actually when he dies. So yeah, this part right here, I will be taking my sweet time. Really not gonna try too hard. Come on, come here. Come here. Yeah, I'm not I'm not concerned about him actually staying alive here. Okay, yeah, well. <coughs> I'm surprised Celeste can even move right now. I mean, hell, she has been asleep for a year. I imagine her muscles have probably atrophied. I mean, how do you how do you cure something like that, anyways? Like electroshock therapy? Don't they do something like that in the Matrix? Well, whatever. I'll just get one fish for him. Yeah, and he's getting worse. Oh well. Trying my best. Been asleep for a year. I'm pretty weak. It's gonna be kind of hard to find the right fish. said the same thing there. I wonder. Okay, yeah, you can't explore the world. I don't think you can get in any... Never mind, I was wrong. I guess you can get in random encounters out here. Anyways... Well, you're still alive? Wow, a lot of fish now. Yeah, I'll just get one for now, I guess. Yep, he's dead. Where are you going? Oh, okay, I'm controlling here. What's this? Hmm. A lot of suicide, I guess.
But, as we all know, RPG characters can survive falls of infinite height, so she won't die. It's pretty obvious. She kind of jumped off the cliff weird there. It's like she jumped off and just went backwards. Guess maybe she didn't want to dive face first into the rocks. <laughs> That's probably why she still survived. Whoa. Oh, it's a bird. Huh. That bandana there looks kind of familiar. Well, why, why wouldn't the bird want to help you? This scene right here kind of reminds me of uh, the end of Back to the Future 2 when Marty finds out that Doc's, <coughs> excuse me, that Doc's still alive. Alright, well. Oh, there's a letter here. <coughs> okay. Secret passage. To a raft. Looks like we made it, so I'm gonna take a pause break now. Okay, we're back and go over, uh, well, actually, it'd just be better if I just did this. Go over the equipment setup here. I got her on, uh, Catabolus for now. Just learned that that spell, she's pretty much got most of the spells learned except for, uh, the ones on Zana Seeker, which I'll have her equipped with, anyways, for the magic bonuses when I get close to level up, so. And I got her on a ribbon, obviously, because it's going to be very useful very shortly, because, yeah, the next area where I'm going to have to do some fighting, enemies like to use, uh, like, stop and petrify and a lot of annoying status ailments. So, yeah, I want to keep a ribbon on Celeste there. Kefka's practically a god now, huh? Okay. Talk to the pub owner. Yep. I remember those days. Bunch of drunk soldiers. Keep a little optimism, you know?
Now, a lot of the shops in, in the towns in this game, now that the world has changed forever, uh, actually sell different equipment. And, uh... Yeah, well, this one's not really that different, I don't think. It's basically the same stuff. Thousand-year-old text. Eight dragons seal away its awesome might, the might of the one called Crusader. Hmm. And the eight shall fall, the one again shall rise. <clears throat> yeah, that's basically a clue for, uh, eight optional bosses, uh... Actually, I like to call them the not-so-legendary dragons because a lot of them are pretty easy to take out. Oh yeah, there's a high potion that I missed before. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's see what they got at the armor shop here. They got anything better? No? Not really. I think it's exact same equipment as before. Okay. What's this guy have to say? Humbaba Death Gaze. Okay, so yeah, there's two other optional bo well actually one of them is optional. Actually no, Humbaba, Humbaba is optional, I forgot about that. Uh, he's related with getting a, another character back, but you don't have to do it. Death Gaze is also optional, along with the eight dragons. Light of Judgment, huh? Okay. Per apparently, Ke uh, Kefka has learned Sith Lightning. Alright, now we can actually buy uh, Elemental Swords here. And uh, I'm not going to buy any right now, but I will be in the future. What's this guy have to say? Martial artist? Huh. Okay. Well, how's the port doing down here? Actually, is there treasure down here I can get? I wonder. Oh, apparently not. That's okay, though. Yeah, that's basically all there is to see in this town. A lot of stuff has changed. What did, he, did I talk to these? Yeah, I already talked to these guys. Never mind. Okay, well... I guess we're going to be heading north of here. I'm going to take a pause break now. Okay, got a few minutes. Ooh, we got a couple new enemies, a killer mantis, and something that ran away too fast. And I'm just going to cast Thundara on this guy and probably take a few turns. Okay, and there's Kefka's tower, but we can't get in there yet. Alright, yeah, here's that other enemy, Fafnir. And apparently they like to run away, but hopefully I can take this guy out for And I can't. I have no idea what these guys are weak to, but... They, I don't know, I'm guessing they might be weak to ice, but... I don't have Lazara right now, so I'm not going to worry about that. Waste my time. <clears throat> Alright, well, I guess I can use a sleeping bag here on Celeste. Might as well. Hardly use those things anyways. Alright, I'm going to take a, another pause break here. Okay, I'm out of time. That's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This is Veteran0121. See you next time.